Hi everyone, umuulan today and hindi ko ma-open ang window, of course, but meron siyang eyes. I don't know if you can notice, but meron eyes yung ulan. Hello, I think it's really snowing. Oh my gosh, looks so snow. Ulan na may snow, guys. Good and dummy. Ang lakas ng yelo, guys. Parang naino natin. But this is how it looks like. Ang lakas ng hangin. Ang lakas ng snow. But ngayon nandito ako sa taas kasi nag-work ako and parang umulan na may yelo. So I'm not sure if that is snow but parang snow siya and snow siya na nagiging tubig na natutuyo but malakas siya guys so we're not sure kung magkakaroon siya ng maraming yellow later. Parang na-excited ako na parang na-ignorante. <laughs> Kaya in-open ko yung bintana kanina. But you will see right now that it's snowing so much. Wala pa yan kanina. Oh, hindi pa yan puti. But right now, sobrang lakas ng snow. And nakikita ko na dito na area is pumuti na siya. Sobrang lakas! Sobra! So, <laughs> dadami ang snow. Teka lang, pagdahan natin si, si mother, itatanong ko sa kanya kung yan na ba yung simula ng pagsusunod. Are first snow? Yeah, it is! It, I thought it's raining! And it's so, it's so... Oh, wow! It looks so beautiful. I hate it. But I know you hate it because it you will go to work. Yeah. That's why I am taking a video, but we cannot be seen because it's so dark. <laughs> but it looks so beautiful. <laughs> wow. Akala ko ulan. Ang taas magandang yung mag-video. Na, kanina nag-work ako. Hmm. Tapos, sabi ko, hala, ba't umulan? Tapos may may malakas siya. Ayan o, sa itaas maganda mag-video. Pero ano kasi, dahil sa window nagiging ganito, mm. hindi siya clear. Ay, di lumabas ka. Ay, <laughs> may pinto ka na ako sa... Mangingilig ako. Hindi <laughs> ka, buksa ba yung... Ang dali lang nag... Ano o, oh, nagputi. Mm -hmm. Pero ang problem is hindi, hindi siya makita kasi medyo blur. Ay, ganun problema. Buksan mo. Sige daw. Buksan natin. Akala ko ulan. Guys, nagsasunaw na siya. Seriously, nanginginig ako. <laughs> So brown, mommy, feel it good. Pero kung biglang, biglang iinit 
hapon na and napapansin nyo na tunaw na agad yung snow kasi uminit kanina immediately after nag snow so nawala rin na siya kakatapos ko lang mag work and bumaba tayo dito and nakita natin na nag prepare si mother ng four turong yan kakain kami ng turong later and also, kinain na din namin yung blueberries. Pan sa ibabaw ng lumpia rubber, at ipoposition ko lang ito sa banda. Ang hiniwag lumpia rubber sa ibabaw ng isang plato. Kukunin lang natin yung saging at itidretch lang natin sa asukal. At itong saging ay kalahati lang. Hiniwa natin yung isang krasong saging na sabal at twice. Ilalagay lang natin itong saging na may asukal sa ibabaw ng lumpia rubber. At ipoposition ko lang ito sa banda ng tuklo. Pagkatapos ay maglalagay lang tayo ng hinog ng lalaka sa ibabaw ng saging. Yan, ready na itong ating filling. Pwede na natin itong balutin. Simple lang ang pagbalot. kapatid ko rin nagluluto masarap. No? Tapos, ano mga ay, ano? Ano? siya yung, yung kapatid ko isa tagaluto ng sisig, mga mm -hmm. kumbing ludo, ganyan. Ate ko kahit ano-ano. Mm -hmm. Tapos, pag magluluto na ako, sasabihin na ng kapatid ko sa akin, Diting, parang may kulang. Sabi ko, ano naman na kulang? Sabi niya, kulang daw sa sarap. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi <laughs> daw ko si masarap. Para parang turo na talaga sa atin sa Pilipinas. May langka ako dyan. Sana nilagay na natin. Ayan. Dumikit na yung asukal. Naka-off na to, no? Naka-off na siya. Tikman mo na may asukal. Hindi mo pa natikman na natin. Mm -hmm. This is our final look of the turo before namin makain. <laughs> dito na area, hindi pa nag-carapenize yung sugar, but dito dumikit na siya. So at least alam ko na kung paano. <laughs> Sige, tikpan natin. Tapos dekorasyon na nito. Ayan o. Ayan. Tapos talagay mo yan. Ayan niya, di ba? Ang sarap. Mm. May pa decoration pa si mother. Oh. Mm.
Hello everyone, it is already 7 p.m. And kahatapos lang namin kumain ng turon. Actually, kadina lang kami kumain ng turon. But sobrang na parami ang chika namin ni mother. Para nag-start kami mag chika chika ng mga 4:30 or alas 5 na tapos na mga alas 7. Lalabas pa naman sana siya. Di ko sure kung lalabas pa siya today kasi magsa 7:30 na bibili kasi siya ng ano, ng plastic plastic garbage para sa mga bins ng mga basurahan. But not sure if she will still go out. And nag-share lang siya ng mga experiences niya kung kamusta siya nung bagong dating siya dito sa Germany. And I also, we also talked about your comments guys na um, nagugustuhan nyo na magkasama kami palagi and maganda ang bonding namin as a family. And close din kaming dalawa which is really true. I do want to address something guys because nabasa ko din sa ibang comments na I should have been using po and opo pagkausap ko si mother. Yes, I totally agree with that. However, um, nag-start kami palang mag-chika ni mother. I think mga isang taon plus kami ni Karsten na mag girlfriend and boyfriend. And hindi pa kami kasal ni Karsten nun. Sabi niya nung una na hindi daw siya naniniwala na na seryoso, seryoso ko sa anak niya and ako seryoso ko kay Karsten, ganun so she just tried to talk to me and of course, both Filipina naman kaming dalawa so walang problema so kinausap niya ako and I was really talking to her like ako po si RV taga Cebu po ako, ganun <laughs> and I was using po and opo during that time kahit sa chat namin nagiyus ako ng po and opo but for some reason nung pagdating ko dito sa ano sa Germany um, hindi na ako nakagamit hindi ko siya ma-explain maybe because um, maybe because kung titignan ko siya is para ko lang talaga siyang very close friend <laughs> para ko siyang barkada and hindi talaga siya matandang tingnan that's that could be the reason kung bakit hindi ko siya napopo at opo kasi medyo parang nakakatanda ganun. And don't get me wrong. And also, if you're not using po and opo, that doesn't mean na hindi mo siya nire-respect o nire-respect. So, I really respect her 100%. It's just that siguro bisaya ako and hindi kasi kami gumagamit ng ganun sa, sa Cebu, sa bisaya. And so, um, nasanay na din ako na kinakausap ko siya normally. And nung very first time na napansin ko na hala hindi na pala ako nagpupo at opo kay mother, tinanong ko siya, sabi ko sa kanya na okay lang ba sa'yo na <laughs> okay lang ba sa'yo mother na hindi ako nagagamit ng po and opo. And sabi niya, oh naman, dito kasi sa Germany walang ganun na culture. Alam ko na um, merong ganun sa Tagalog kasi um, lumaki ako or hindi pala lumaki but ipinanganak ako sa Bataan which is Tagalog speaking place but sinabi niya na hindi na daw ako dapat magpo at opo sa kanya dahil um, sobrang nakakatanda daw yung po at opo and sabi ko nga sa kanya na sorry talagang na na ano na ako, nasanay na ako kasi dun sa Cebu, hindi kami nagpupo and opo. So, we already talked about that. And sabi niya na, wag, wag mo na akong ipo at opo. Iba nga dito sa Germany, tinatawag lang ang mga pangalan ng mga in-laws by their first name. And I call her mother. Gusto kong tawagin siya na mother because ang tinatawag kasi ni Karsten at Patrick kay, kay mama nila is mama. Mama, parang sobrang cute pakinggan na gusto ko special para sa kanila yung tawag. Kaya sabi ko, mother, tawag ko kay mother. So yun, and hopefully you will understand guys na napag-usapan na namin ni mother yun and gusto niya na wag na ako magbuat opo sa kanya. I can talk to her um, naturally or normally. Para ko lang siyang kaburks, kabarkada, kapamilya, kapuso. Ganun. And nasanay na ako. Because if you will just see her, you will really see na parang hindi naman talaga siya nakakatanda. And I know that she's my mom-in-law and I really, really respect her. 
100%, walang question doon. And ganun lang talaga kami magsalita. Without, parang ganun na kami magsalita. And it was fine with her. And yun din ang request niya. So hopefully guys, kahit na awkward siyang pahinggan to some, I hope it will still be fine with you guys. And I love her anyway. I will respect her anyway. And we will really have a good relationship anyway. So I hope that clears up some of your awkwardness or confusion kung bakit hindi ako nagpupo at opo kay mother. Anyway guys, that was it. And malapit ng mag 8pm. 8pm kasi lalabas si Karsten and excited na din ako makita siya kasi tomorrow is his day off. Karsten have been working the whole week. Wednesday yung day off niya this week and then as well as tomorrow. I'm sure na sobrang napagod na yun kasi ano pa yun gumising alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 8 pa siya nag-work. So, I really admire his um, hardworking personality. <laughs> But I know that it's really for us and our family. Anyway, nag-work din naman ako dito. Dito sa harap ng computer. But, marami pa akong dapat gawin dito. I will just do it later when I have that time. And uh, that was our chica for today. I hope na na-understand nyo or nalinawan kayo sa mga chika-chika ko today. Anyway, I will try to open some comments right here. Habang wala pa si Karsten. Merong nag-comment dito from Miss Dina Benson. Miss RV, hindi ka lang swerte kay mother-in-law mo. Pati si mother-in-law swerte din sa'yo. Dahil ang bait-bait mo din nagkaroon ng instant anak na babae. <laughs> Sana magkaroon din siya ng instant apo na babae. <laughs> sabi ni dito is, sabi ni Jamaline Fadrilan, super sipag talaga ni Karsten. Very mabait din si mother-in-law. God bless your family. Just put God always in the center of your relationship. God's plan for those children of Him is prosperity. Just be patient lang. Ah, thank you, thank you so much po. Um, someone said, Um, from Benilda Kim. Hello, I have been watching your vlog. It's good to see the whole family riding the bus and train together. It is a good family bonding. Watching from Hawaii or Hawaii and I'm also from Visayas. Hello, Miss Belinda. Thank you so much for your very nice comment. It's really true na masaya ako na nakakasama ko talaga sila because we don't know si Patrick mag aasawa yan soon. Si mother uuwi-uwi yan ng Pilipinas. And we don't know kung, kung hanggang kailan kami magsasama-sama because of course we have different different plans in life. And I really, really um, enjoy the moment that we're together right now. Merong nag-comment sabi ni Dina Benson. Ah, siya ba yung nag-comment kanina? Sabi niya, pag malaki na yung sound sa YouTube Miss RV, bili na kayo ng car para hindi ka na gumam para hindi ka na gagamit ng stroller pag nag-grocery kayo ni mother-in-law mo. <laughs> hindi ako nag-skip ng mga ads para maging malaki yung salary mo sa YouTube. Oh, thank you po. Thank you so much. Just do not worry um, because kailangan natin tong pagdaanan ang mga ganitong experiences para at least meron tayong mga machichika sa times na makakabili na tayo ng car, ba diba? In the Philippines, nakakatawa lang kasi um, sobrang lapit lang ng Palengke. Sobrang lapit na ng palengke sa bahay namin. And hindi ako naglalakad. Sobrang tamad ko. Nagpapadrive ako sa kapatid ko or nagpapamotor ako sa kanya. Ayaw ko talaga mag, ano, ayaw ko talaga mag, maglakad. Nagagrab pa ako minsan. And ngayon, walang grab, walang taxi. Wala man lang tricycle, jeepney. <laughs> meron lang bus. And ang bus, meron lang ding time limit. And medyo mahirap maghanap ay medyo mahirap mag wait sa bus dahil medyo malayo ang ano niya ano duration ng each na bus na dadating so it's fine i really enjoy everything sometimes i wish pag nakita ko na medyo mabigat yung dinadala namin na sana meron kaming car but i know that we will really have it in the future kailangan lang namin mag-work pa more <laughs> which will really come in the future. But thank you so much, Miss 
Dina or Dina sa hindi mo pagsaskip ng YouTube ads. And it will really help us a lot for sure. Thank you. Later on, do not worry, we will do a lot of more shoutouts. Dahil hindi kami naka-shoutout yesterday. Dahil um, sumakit pigla yung chan ko. For some reason, I don't know why. And si Carson, sabi ko na, baby, pwede pag ikaw na lang yung mag-shoutout today. Ganon, ganon. Tapos sabi niya na, um, gusto niya na kami daw magkasama and also parang na, 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 na papansin ko na napagod na din si Carson so um, we will do it later and it's really important to do shout outs because naglagay kayo ng effort para mag comment comments so we will also do our effort to read all of your shout outs so later balik ako para may chika tayo ulit Hello everyone, let's do the shout out right now dahil kagabi natulog na kami ni Karsten mm -hmm. and um, pag-usapan namin na ngayon na lang pagising dahil Sunday naman and Karsten doesn't have work today. So the very first shout out is from Rona Vlog TV. Salamat po sa pag shout out, beautiful couple and Rona may medalya sa Tilian. Ang saya ko po, vlog niyo po pinapanood ko before ako matulog. Nakaka-inspired po kayo lalo't galing kayo sa LDR relationship. Keep safe palagi mga palangga. Shout out po ulit sa Santillian family from Bulalaho Oriental Mindoro. Ganun na din po ang mga hagaya kong kadama here in Riyadh. Shout out, shout out. Hello Miss Rona, thank you so much sa pag um, pagko-comment mo and also watching our videos before kang matulog. We really appreciate it. Next shout out is going to Face World Mix. Shout out to my boyfriend in Germany from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. From Thank Riyadh as well. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. Next shout out is from Kermalin P. E. Shout out, please, lovely couple, and to your family there in Germany. Keep safe, be healthy, to God always. Para maraming blessings darating from Valencia, <coughs> Bukidnon. Hello, shout out. Next shout out is going to Apple of My Eyes. I'm the first to watch hashtag pa shout out. Watching from Hong Kong, Nakakawala, Makomsig Bilang OFW. Thank you so much for commenting again and for requesting to be mentioned in shout out. Hello to you. Next is from Onyang Kayandab. Hashtag shout out to my family in Labizares, Northern Samar. Kayandab and Kazula family from Sonia Kayandab, Saudi Arabia. Thank you always for watching your vlog. God bless. Thank you so much. I hope na basa namin ng tama ang apelido mo. And shout out to you, Miss Sonia, and to your family. Next shout out is going to LG Josie Santa Saspa. Watching from Kalokan po, pa shout out Miss Arvi and Carsten. God bless to both of you. Next is from Kermalin P. It again. Hashtag shout out family Montejo from Valencia, Bukidnon. Good luck and good health to you guys and family. Ah. Good health daw sa family nyo, sa Valencia, ah, sa Montejo family. <laughs> and thank you so much for your comment. Next shout out is from Sharon Lumage. Hashtag shout out to all Filipinos in Germany. Good evening guys. Mother to top po, maganda po kayo at very humble. Kaya napakaswerte ni RP. At swerte din po kayo kay RP kasi napaka humble niya at smart. RP, pwede po ako mag-request. Baka pwede naman may po at pagkausap mo si mother. I know naman in my heart, you're so mabait. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much for your comment, Miss Sharon. Yun po ang video na ginawa ko kanina. And, um, napag-usapan namin ni Mother about sa concern na yan. And we appreciate na uh, may concern kayo about that. But do not worry dahil napag-usapan na yun namin ni Mother. And siya ang nag-request na din kasi natanong ko sa kanya kung, um, dahil hindi ako nagpupo at opo sa kanya dahil bisay, bisaya ako. And sabi niya na huwag na kasi um, hindi naman yun uso dito sa Germany. And as well as para hindi na mas nakakatanda daw yung pag gumagamit ako ng pot opo sa kanya. So request niya na din yun. And nasana na din ako kasi siguro dahil um, part na siya ng culture as a Bisaya. But that doesn't mean na hindi ko naman siya nire-respeto because I really respect her 100%. And that's why nasanay na lang din ako na kinakausap ko siya na walang pot opo. And just normally. Because we don't do it here in Germany. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know? Mm -hmm. And yo 
one i hope that it will be fine with you guys you will understand and brother is completely fine with it so that's it next comment is from next comment is from susan lachan a shout out by susan from us salamat heart thank you for watching our videos salamat heart Next is from Fe Whitmer. We always cross the border to buy our groceries in Rheinfelden, Germany. Where is Rheinfelden? I think it's near the border of Switzerland. Ah, because almost everything is much cheaper than here in Switzerland. Unfortunately, only one kilo of fresh meat per person is the limit to be taken in. Most of the items are without limit except meat. A shout out to RV and Carson sa mga kababayan ko in Bakakay. I'll buy. Feeling down. Yeah, but that's true. Most of the people who are living near the border between Switzerland and Germany um, doing the groceries in Germany. Germany yeah. Or, for example, people who live in Switzerland. Um, no, wait, look. In Germany? Oh, no, wait, look. Um, I know people who live near the border of Switzerland and Germany are going to work to Switzerland. Because they will, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. Um, when you're going to work in Switzerland, you have to pay more taxes compared to Germany. So? It's like also a way to save money. Ah, like you will not pay more taxes when you're working in, Germ in Switzerland? I'm not sure, I think so. I see. So, anyway, thank you so much for your comment, Fair Widmer, and very welcome to do your <laughs> groceries here in Germany. Kasi nga mas napansin ko na mura din siya. Next shout out is going to Cecilia Sorbito. Shout out to my kids, Clint, Shim, and Tantan. Sorbito kids from Pasa City. Thanks and keep safe. And we hope that you also will be safe and stay healthy during these times. Yeah, so yung mother nyo is mentioning your names, Klim, Shim, and Tan Tan. Hello! Thank you so much for watching all our videos. And again, we really appreciate all your comments, your concerns, all your beautiful messages and lovely messages to us. We really, really appreciate it. And sana magpatuloy kayo mag-support us sa amin. And we will keep on doing more videos in our daily lives to share with you guys and very excited to to of course experience a lot of first times for me especially the snow i already did my first time for today's video and a lot of very first times to me in the future as well so again thank you so much please don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell button para ma update kayo sa mga bagong videos. And for the YouTube algorithm. For the YouTube algorithm, of course, from Carson. So thank you so much for watching and see you on our next video. Bye, guys. Bye.